The where this is a bit different than a CSL is if we did another protocol here. You can do multiple protocols and it'll it'll add to the existing statistical data. So we're going to do a voice uh, voicing efficiency. Did we just do a voicing efficiency? Pop, 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 pop. So get there, do our threshold, hit our statistical results. And I'll ask you, do you want to replace these results, append them, or make an average of them? So this is a good tool for if you're doing multiple passes. We're going to append them just so I can show you how that looks. So you have voicing efficiency one and two. Oh, so it's all in the same table. It's all in the same table. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So. And that's basically It'll be interesting based on what study you're replicating, which I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. So you may want to play around a little bit based on what yeah. study you're replicating. So uh, just a quick review, things to remember. Make sure it's plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> you got it at B here. Um, you, you, know, you calibrate it if it asks you to. And then you use the protocols and apply the threshold and create your statistics. The job of the aerodynamic group is make sure that the switch box is back on A when you're done and that you're unplugged and the EGG is okay. plugged in. That way, that's going to be our default for now until I, we'll work something else out with in terms of the plugs. I don't know what we're going to do. But. Okay. In terms of the this little plastic, face mask, yeah. You said that one's reusable or no? no it's that's not a reusable. saucer. Yeah, but I mean, it's. I think for your guys' purposes, for the evening, you should yeah. use a disposable with the same person and just demo the uh, the cleaning of it because. Mm -hmm. For a reusable one, you can clean between uses. In a lot of settings these days, I think they're doing the disposable. I think the yeah uh, the what, what do they call hospital precaution people? The, um, whatever the people come around and tell disinfecting you what to do. The, the disinfectant right people. Yeah, disinfectant people. biomed. Disinfectant. They're not happy with reusable masks. Yeah. Um, so yeah. but and for those reusable masks, if you once you you know. Once you clean them about a hundred times, they get real burned up. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, the reusable ones, and we have, you know we just we buy boxes. Of what do you ones. use to clean? Like the same as in the yes. mm -hmm. okay. uh, There, there is in here and a booklet. Uh, it's a little black booklet that was in this area about how to clean everything. Okay. So, uh, it's something your group is responsible for. Snag my pants. Oh on dear, bummer. Um, I got them right when I came out Sorry. of the car. So the last thing I'll leave you with here, help, open help. Manual. This is the manual. What about flow? Uh, it should be you a just demo pressure. Protocol. Is that one of the protocols? For flow, you do not use the interaural tube. Do we have a flow protocol? Um, we don't have a, just one that says airflow. What does it say? What is it? I might recommend that if I could do that. Auto capacity, air pressure screening, maximum sustained formation, comfortable sustained formation, variation in sound pressure level, voicing efficiency, and running speech. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, this is pitch, sound pressure, and airflow. Hmm. I'll take a look, Ben. Yeah. Um, you, that that's one for once you get comfortable with user defined protocols, you can just say you want to do that. Okay. All right. Flow, I find useful for people with vocal fold paralysis, vocal mm -hmm. nodules, that sort of thing, in which maybe there's high or low. Or somebody's hyperfunctional spasmodic dysphonia has low airflow values, for example. That's it? That's it.